Hi, this is Gali Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about five health habits that you want you really want to begin immediately. I know how lifestyle changes are very challenging to make, especially when trying to change everything all at once. This is a certain route to failure, as this leads to feelings of incompetence, makes us give up on all of our new habits and resort to our usual non-beneficial health habits that do not support our health or weight loss goals. It is easy to become overwhelmed with all of the things that need to be changed. I know this and to follow the path to health and well-being. This may lead the person to a lowered self-esteem, which leads them to give up on themselves. And sadly, this happens. I see this happen over and over again. It is most beneficial to change non-beneficial habits one habit at a time to prevent becoming overwhelmed and stop any efforts altogether. Therefore, the key to success in changing health habits is to begin gradually. There are a few simple actions that you can begin with that will promote better health and well-being in you and don't require much effort on your part, but do have a significant effect on your health and well-being. So here's where to begin. Number one, begin by changing one meal at a time to a more whole food, plant-based meal. Now, even if you do eat a lot of meat and dairy products throughout the week or snack often on processed foods or ready-made meals, if you aim to change at least one meal a day in the right direction for health, then you will slowly be supporting a healthier microbiome, you will be feeding your body with a higher density of nutrients and fiber, and you will slowly but surely benefit your health in the long term. Whole food meals consist of fruits, vegetables, all sorts of whole grains uh, and nuts and seeds as well as legumes. Now one meal change a day does add up and it is the easiest way to incorporate new dietary habits into your life. Furthermore, this gradual shift will slowly support a healthy population of bacteria in your gut which will make the transition to a healthy diet much more easy and much more friendly. <laughs> Now you can also begin by cooking a healthy meal once a day. People seem to think that they are too busy to cook healthy meals, but this is simply not true. It just means that you need to change the way you are currently cooking and take on new healthier ways of cooking. Now in the beginning, this will take a little more time, but overall, all healthy meals can be cooked in under 20 minutes, just like unhealthy meals can. Now, healthy cooking will also help you focus your thinking and attention towards, he towards healthy foods and healthy food cooking options. And we know that focus equals power. So you will have much more power and much more willpower to uh, achieve all of your health goals. Now, the second health habit you wanna begin immediately is to drink sufficient water. Water is vital for life and it is necessary for optimal daily functioning of our body. Water is also known as nature's champagne. Now water balance improves not only a person's physical performance, but also a person's attentiveness, critical thinking skills, and your memory. Now water transports nutrients all around our body and it regulates body temperature while also lubricating all of our joints. And research shows that water also facilitates weight management. So it, it really even tastes wonderful when you become accustomed to drinking water instead of drinking the sugar laden soft drinks. You just get used to it and after two weeks, your um, taste buds change. So you can get really used to any sort of uh, different dietary habit in about two and a half weeks. Now to incorporate this habit easily, make going into the kitchen a cue to drink a glass of water. Every time you go into the kitchen, which for most of us is quite often, then first drink a glass of water. Use entering the kitchen as a cue to drink a water every time you go in. And this will help you stay hydrated and achieve better physical and cognitive performance throughout the day. This small change will not only improve your overall health, but will also positively affect your appearance by enhancing the condition of your skin. Now, the third health habit you wanna begin immediately is to develop a more positive mindset. A negative mindset is discouraging, stressful, straining, especially on our relationships, and it reduces overall happiness levels and makes us, of course, also much less productive. Now, mindset is also linked to intelligence as well as psychological well-being. So how do you become more positive? Well, it all begins with your internal self-talk. 
Once you begin to notice your self-talk throughout the day and the amount of negativity you accommodate in your mind, you will understand the importance of banishing this internal negative conversation and replacing it with a more positive conversation that promotes a high self-esteem within you. Now, since our conscious mind can only uh, uh, accommodate one thought at a time, when we are accommodating a negative, a negative thought, then our mind cannot accommodate a positive thought at the same time. So of course you want to replace your negative thoughts with positive thoughts. And the opposite is also true. So if you accommodate a, a positive thought, then a negative thought cannot exist at the same time. So it's always better to choose positivity over negativity since only by choosing a positive mindset you will already feel happier and this will lead you to a calmer, happier and healthier body as well. Now appreciating what you already have is another way to develop positivity. One can and should be grateful for the people in their lives, for the support they receive, for the warm bed they can sleep in. Now not everybody in the world has this, I totally understand, but those of us who do are quite lucky. Even if we look at the small things that we have in our life, they are very, very substantial uh, um, compared to what other people don't have. Now most negativity triggers are quite insignificant in the larger scheme of things. When we take notice, when we take notice of the things that we give them negativity in the right context, we will notice that most negativity triggers are just there because this is the way we are used to thinking. It's our default thought habits. Now we can always change this and create a more positive mindset and a more positive life. Now also getting sufficient sleep helps support a positive mindset. Being tired makes some feelings totally overwhelming and it puts a lot of stress on our shoulders and limits our focus and can make us also more susceptible to disease. So aim for about seven to eight hours of sleep at night uh, uh, for the ben benefits of a good healthy sleep. Now you can read my article on the importance of sleep for health and weight loss to learn more about this subject and the details are found in the description of this video. Now the fourth health habit you want to begin immediately is spending more time outdoors in the sunshine. Now going out in sunshine has a prominent effect on our mind and body. Firstly, sunshine helps our body produce vitamin D, which is created by our body in response to sunlight exposure on our skin. Vitamin D has received worldwide attention, not only for its importance for bone health in children and adult, adults, but also for reducing risk of many chronic diseases, including autoimmune diseases, both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, heart disease, uh, different types of cancers, including pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and also Hodgkin's lymphoma as well as neurocognitive disorders as well also infectious diseases are also benefited by vitamin D and multiple sclerosis as well as mortality of course now vitamin D deficiency is now a pandemic around the world because people either avoid sunshine or wear sun protection of fear from fear of skin cancer or they have cultural and religious reasons to completely cover up their body preventing any sunlight skin exposure. Now vitamin D influences our epigenetics and gene regulation and for these reasons the exposure of uh, sunlight has such wide ranging health benefits throughout our life. Now people living in higher latitudes have lesser exposure to the beneficial UVB rays from the sun and therefore should supplement with vitamin D but can also benefit from spending time out, outdoors because of the scent of the trees and the grasses and the flowers which is very relaxing and helps reduce stress. Even half an hour a day during lunch break spent in the sun will significantly improve your productivity and lessen your stress levels also making you happier. Now sunshine also helps you sleep better so just a few minutes of sunshine during the right time of day has been found to help you get a better sleep and also help you stay asleep for longer. If you want more in information on vitamin D and its effects and how you can supplement, please read my uh, complete guide to vitamin D in the description and the link in the description found below this video. The fifth health habit you want to begin immediately is to start walking on a regular basis. Now the fourth leading risk factor for mortality on a global level is inactivity. Over 4 million deaths annually from people that do not, that are too sedentary. Now regular physical activity develops and sustains physical fitness and has been proven to reduce the likelihood of developing heart disease, diabetes and respiratory 
respiratory illnesses. Now, regular physical activity, even at low intensity, has been shown to offer similar effects to some drug interventions in terms of mortality benefits. So, of course, you want to uh, participate in physical activity. Now, walking is the easiest physical activity that really is great for everyone. When carried out consistently, it's associated with important heart health benefits. And since walking also expends energy, it also supports weight control. Also, walking has been shown to improve metabolism of high density lipoproteins and improve insulin and glucose dynamics, which helps battle against diabetes, lowers uh, uh, body weight, and uh, reduces high cholesterol levels and high blood pressure. Now, walking can benefit anyone at any age and can be done completely alone with a phone as company or even totally alone or as a social meeting going with other people or in group walk, walking groups. It costs nothing, requires no special skills and no equipment, and it has both short and long-term benefits. Walking is self-regulated in duration, intensity, and frequency and can be done all year round and of course is very safe. You only have to ensure that you are walking in a place that has has good air quality and low traffic fumes and you should aim to progress from a slow pace even four kilometers or two miles per hour uh, to somewhat faster pace of walking to 6.4 kilometers an hour or four miles an hour um, and to increase the duration to about 30 minutes as many times uh, of the days of the week that you can now start by being active during lunch break even a short half an hour blend lunch break doesn't require you to eat throughout the whole half an hour you can also uh, take a brisk walk during this time and then sit down to eat you'll be much happier and much calmer that's for sure you can even involve the whole family and go for a walk uh, around the block or to the park if you have one in your area and enjoy some fresh air and exercise together after um, after dinner instead of watching television which is great so uh, to conclude, these five activities offer major, major benefits to your health and well-being and are very simple to incorporate into your daily routine. A minute change today will make a big difference in your life in the long term through compounding benefits. Now these activities, when incorporated into your daily routine, will improve your physical and psychological well-being, making you both healthier and happier. So do them and enjoy them. And if you are enthusiastic about making a real transformation in your health and well-being, I I suggest you look at my Gorilla Diet Holistic Lifestyle Program, which takes you gradually, step by step, to a healthier, slimmer, and happier you in just 12 weeks. Check it out. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And details are also found in the description of this video below. Thank you very much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, um, uh, subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notifications when I upload a new video, which is about once a week. And please visit my blog at www.thegorilladiet.com for lots of um, health information and nutrition information as well. You may also join my, my health programs, which I really advise you do to make a real transformation in your life. Thank you very much for joining me here today.